So I've got an Octo fan today. I actually have six to do, uh, but I'll start off with the smallest and then go up in size. Starting off, we have the Noctua NF R8, and I'm going to do a review on this. So I'll show you around the box, what's inside the box, and then I'll get onto how the fan actually performs after that. So stay tuned, and we will start. Okay, so here's the front of the box. You've got a few features here, and obviously it says it's PWM now, because this is the PWM version of the R8. Uh, I wouldn't bother with reading that, because it is actually on the inside of the box. They talk about it on the inside. But on the back here, you've got pretty much just a description of the fan. And it, uh, some stats there to do with the fan as well. Now, on the inside of the box, obviously, you can see the fan. You've got um, a couple of little images of what comes with it, and you can see some of the anti-vibration mounts there as well. And it, this is what I was talking about with the information on the six features that they think is the most important. The first one being the actual design of the fan. The second being the custom-designed PWM chip that comes in this fan, now that it's a PWM fan. Then you get the low noise adapter. Now with this adapter it is a RPM limiter, not a voltage limiter. Uh, for those people who don't know, the RPM limiters are the ones that come with PWM. Because uh, PWM is all really based on RPM, whereas the non-PWM, they're based on voltages uh, because you've got the three wires. But I'll get to that uh, later in the, in the video. Then you've got the extensive cable options. Now that's pretty much just saying it's got an extension cable. Then you've got the self-stabilising oil bearings and a six-year manufacturer's warranty that comes with this fan. So I'm going to take it out of its box now. Okay, so I'm going to take it out of its box now and put the box to one side. So to start off with, you have these four anti-vibration uh, mounts. I'll put them to one side. You've got a low noise power adapter. Now this limits the RPM of the fan to 1300 from 1800. Also comes with a Y splitter for connecting two fans to uh, one motherboard header. And then you've got two more things. You've got the screws if you don't want to use the anti-vibration mounts. And you have a 30 centimeter extension cable. And then you've got the fan as well, which has a 20 centimeter. Did I say 30 meter? Uh, I meant 30 centimeter. And it also comes with a 20 centimeter uh, cable on the fan as well. So let's plug it in now and see how it performs. Okay, so we've got the fan up and running now, and I'll give you a couple of specs, features, stuff to do with this fan. Now this is an SSO bearing fan. Now that's self-stabilizing oil which compared to things like rifle bearing fans and ball bearing fans it has a much longer lifetime and a much quieter lifetime now that what i mean is this fan will perform quieter over the period of its life than something like a ball bearing fan or a rifle bearing fan in terms of airflow it pulls through 53.3 cubic meters per hour at 17.1 decibels now with the low noise power adapter on that goes down to 39.4 cubic meters per hour at 10.2 decibels. In terms of RPM, without the low noise power adapter, it runs at 1800 RPM, but with it runs at 1300. And in terms of static pressure, it's 1.14 without and 0.74 with. So I think it's time to get onto my conclusion of what I actually think of the fan now. Okay, so to conclude, uh, in terms of the spec, you know, at 17 decibels without the low noise power adapter, that may sound like a quiet enough fan, but with it being an 80mm fan compared to things like a 120mm fan, that 70 decibels is it, it's more noticeable than a 17 decibel 120mm uh, fan, and that's because the pitch of the fan is actually slightly higher than on a 120mm fan, so it's more noticeable. So I would really... Um, suggest only using it with the low noise power adapter because then it, it sort of levels out in terms of what you can notice uh, so with the low noise power adapter it you can notice it just as much as you can notice like a P12 or say the F12 or P14 flex um, by Noctua so yes it is a good fan 
but I would only recommend using it with the low noise power adapter. That is my review of the Noctua NF R8 PWM fan. Don't forget to comment, rate and subscribe. I'm Hal Thompson and goodbye.